Welcome back to Case Simplify channel. In this video, we are going to look at um, the pet phase two requirement. I believe most of you are done with your pet phase two. So let's check what um, you expected to do. In other, sub, um, in other words, what the pet phase two requires so that you'll be able to submit a better pet and then get a good mark, right? Now, um, first of all, the questionnaire. Make sure that you have created the questionnaire using developer form control in Microsoft Word. Check that you have organized your questions in at least two categories or sections. Include more close-ended questions, yes and no, multiple choice scale, multiple choice scale, and then also um, like agree, strongly agree, and others. Include at least five topic-related questions. In other words, if you are doing the impact of AI on education, five topic-related questions, not yet, excluding the bibliography and others. You must create and distribute your questionnaires using an online form, like Google Forms or Microsoft Forms. So make sure that you have done this in order to get all the marks over there. And then we move straight to the Excel workbook structure. At least you can have maximum six worksheets. Sheet one will be the raw data and edited responses when you download it from Microsoft Forms or Google Forms, an edited one. Make sure that you have collected and display at least 25 completed um, questionnaire responses downloaded from your online forms. Sheet two will be a clean or formatted data. What do you do there? Check that you have duplicated the sheet one and then remove unnecessary information like other metadata from there or timestamps. Apply conditional formatting to highlight trends or patterns. Apply data validation, at least one. And then make sure that optionally you have used these functions, like the text functions in sheet two, or X lookup or date calculations, or you have used nested if, if or lookup functions to convert qualitative data into quantitative data, which I explained um, in phase two spreadsheet analysis. And then make use of data analysis tools like histogram and descriptive stats. Then sheet three, at least you can create pivot table to summarize the clean questionnaire data and use categories like sound to display inside clearly, like by using the pivot table. And then sheet four, data analysis. Check that you have used functions like count if and count ifs, average, sum, round, sum product, and the rest. You can also make use of round um, and, and so many functions so that you can check that it corresponds to all the four um, levels of functions. And then sheet five, separate the graph from the data analysis. So when you do graphs, you must put it in another sheet, create at least three different types of graphs. In other words, um, pie chart, column chart, and then bar graph, and the rest. Graphs should have data labels, and then graphs should be based on count if analysis or similar calculation. Then your sheet six, you have external data. Then you import this data from another source, um, from website or other thing which I talk about, because this external data will also be used in your database. Now, so that, that the data will be used in your database section. And then also, um, Database access requirement. What is expected from you regarding database? Then the database, um, you must have at least two tables. The first table will be the questionnaire responses. 
you don't have to choose all the questions, but it should have at least five um, fields. So maybe you can choose five questions out of it. Now, all field types must be modified um, with a data type like text, numbers, and dates. Set the field size correctly into appropriate field size. Apply one input mask. Apply one validation rule, like greater than or between. And you must add at least one combo box drop down for different categories. Then your second table can also be um, external data table. That is the source that you got, and then you capture them in database. Not necessary exporting or importing. You can even um, capture data from that sheet, and then you have appropriate field names, and then you can also apply at least one validation rule. Don't forget this table here. You can have the table formatting, but doesn't give you math. Then when you are done, then you create three queries. Three queries. The first query, a query for comparison using the operators like greater than, less than, between, not, and others, and then it must be sorted. Second query must also have criteria and sorted according to a specific or one or two field. And then you must have at least one calculation, one calculated field. And then the third one, you can make use of aggregate function, like the sum, AVG, or count. Then you must also have one report. The report, at least one. At least one report. And the report should be grouped by any field, and then the report should be sorted in ascending or descending order, and it should include one calculation, like maybe total score or the count, or maybe count, and then it should include one combo box for user interactive or filtering. So this is what is expected from you before you submit. And when you are done, you can summarize this in a table. Then you submit your pet phase two. Good luck. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for me.